the history of mankind is a history of using tools to transcend what seemed to be impossible at the beginning. Wilderness, the forces of nature, unexplored nooks of lands and seas, unfamiliar continents and open space. Everything that once was strange and dangerous became a part of our everyday existence. We learned to live in the most uninhabitable places, to tame and domesticate wherever we go, and we constantly keep moving forward. Both hands down, I'm at the fourth rung up. There you go. On February 18th, 2021, Perseverance rover landed on Mars. It was another border that we had crossed in the name of spreading human influence, making what once was strange and dangerous our home. Sky team maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from M MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. At Pyramid Games, we are fascinated by science and discovering the unknown. The vision of humankind as a multi-planetary species inspires us to get up every morning and to make it possible before it happens in real life. We are a very small team, but we strive to deliver the most immersive, consistent experience of surviving on another planet we can. Inspired by the most promising technologies and companies who work towards the goal of becoming a multi-planet species, we want to make this game not only for the players, but also for ourselves. Video games are our medium, our tool, our way to settle and tame our internal strive to being out there, exploring the stars, and colonizing new worlds. Dear Martians, Welcome to Mars. In this YouTube series, we want to bring Mars closer to you. Thanks to our collaboration with the High Seas Project, the Hawaii Space Exploration Mars Simulated Research Station, in the next episodes, we will show you the interesting details of living on the Red Planet. Together with the Valoria One Mission Crew, we will experience the struggle of life on Mars, learn how to grow plants in the hydroponic shelves, Learn how to use the airlock and the spacesuit. We will also go to EVAs, visit underground caves, and learn about other parallels between their real-life mission and our upcoming game. Hi, my name is Jacek, I am a CEO of Pyramid Games and game producer of Occupy Mars the Game. The possibility of humanity colonizing other planets and humanity becoming a multi-planet species has always fascinated me. Making this game a reality was always my dream. I have been extremely fortunate to have found some very talented people who share my passion and together we formed a small team working on this game every day for the last few years. Last year we released a demo version and then a slightly longer prologue version, which was met with warm welcome from community and great feedback from the players. The feedback we received after the demo and prologue were extremely helpful. We were reading through every forum thread and every comment, and it helped us introduce a lot of changes and updates to the game. New crane control system, additional tutorial scenes and hundreds of other improvements were all added thanks to your feedback. In January, we released a long-awaited translation update, which added 10 languages to the prologue. The language update took us longer than expected, but it was worth it, because we were simultaneously translating almost the whole game, not only the prologue. As for the main game, we are currently focusing on balancing the free play mode, and also a separate team is working on a campaign mode. The terrain in the game is procedurally generated and unlimited but we are also adding more real-life Mars locations into our terrain generation system. 
So during the game you will be able to visit iconic places like the canyons of Valles Marineris, the giant Olympus Mons or Korolev Crater full of water ice. We've also added places known from the landings of Mars rovers including Yezero Crater, the place of recent landing of NASA Perseverance rover. And since we already prepared detailed models of those rovers for our previous game, Rover Mechanic Simulator, including the recent Perseverance DLC, we wouldn't be ourselves if we didn't add them here as well, right where they belong. By the way, our separate team was working on the design of Perseverance Rover 3D model for over 6 months, based on the real schematics with over 200 unique parts, internal components and detailed scientific instruments. It's probably the most detailed model currently out there, so playing RMS Perseverance may be a great way to learn about it. We keep working on this game to bring early access to you as soon as possible. See you in the next episode of Tidebeam from Mars, in which we'll talk about the next topic, spacesuits. In the next episodes, this is where we store all of our suits, as well as any repair equipment we may need. These suits consist of the helmet and the backpack as the two primary components. Battery, yeah. I, I can read it. It says, ooh, 66%. Uh, and then, of course, we've also got headlamps for use in dark places like lava tubes, or if we have to go out on night EVAs. doing okay. I mean, if the screen is in the indicator. Why is struggling? See you in the next episode of Tight Beam from Mars. Follow us on social media and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to add the game to your wish list on Steam. You will find the link in the description.